What's up, friends? Hey, I wanted to respond to this video of Mark Driscoll. Uh, this is a newer one that has come out a few days ago. Uh, him talking about uh, critical theory and how you know evangelicals are just woke and we're just all lost. So let's go through this together, kind of talk about it, and uh, see what Mark has to say. Hipper, hipper, cooler evangelical pastors who are finding their fads and trends on social media. Ironic because Mark pioneered being cool and trendy and hip via social media and the internet in the early days. So, okay. You know, it's just, again, another piece of evidence that Mark doesn't even believe the own words that he preaches because he's been a person who was considered cool and trendy and had great theology and used the internet to his advantage. So, okay. They're jumping on something called critical theory, which... Okay, I know we're stopping a lot, but we need to correct this. I don't know any mainline evangelical leaders that are jumping on critical theory. If Mark means having more of a propensity for social justice and talks about racism and maybe critical race theory, that could be one discussion. But the idea that evangelicals are hopping on critical theory is just outlandish. I will say, I believe is the greatest threat to the gospel of Jesus Christ. <laughs> I believe it has already infected and affected the university government. Uh -huh. I believe that it also has taken over the social media platforms. Which ones? I mean, who? What What accounts are you talking about, Mark? Not Gateway Church, the second largest mega church in America. So you have to be a little more specific when you accuse, uh, you know, people being taken over in evangelical culture by CT. Because I can show you statistically that the majority, especially of white evangelicals, aka people in your circles, are actually the complete opposite and are actually more sold out to right wing uh, politics and Trumpism than they are anything even close to the field of social justice, anti racism CRT or CT which are all very different things by the way I believe that it is in the process of silencing old dissent this, <laughs> this comes from the guy who has blocked hundreds of my followers who has blocked me who blocks everyone who dissents he blocks every single person that I mean well I should say the majority that I've seen uh, who, who dissent on his Instagram so just the irony of that statement I think that it has already taken deep-seated root in many uh mainline apostate liberal Christian denominations. This is classic fundamentalist evangelical rhetoric here. You know, anything outside of Mark's bubble or his tradition, uh, anything that is seen as mainline or mainline Protestant is automatically liberal and therefore automatically apostate. It's just pure uh, fear mongering, friends, pure fear mongering. And I think uh, it's entirely possible uh, that we will see in our lifetime the emergence of a brand new cult, just like Jehovah's Witnesses and Mormons came out of Christianity. I believe out of critical theory, you're going to see an apostate version that still claims to be Christian, but denies the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I Mark, are you aware of the churches that you started in the cult-like behavior that you've um um, enacted on your own followers? Are you aware of the countless accusations from people in your circles? Are you aware of the 40 elders who call you unfit to pastor? Are you aware of the cult-like behavior in your own, you know, um, churches? Come on. I mean, this is just, you, you really can't make this up, friends. And I would tell Mark all of this to his face. You can't make this up. The guy who is who is who thinks that a new cult uh, comparable to the Jehovah Witnesses, you know, uh, is happening because of critical race theory, a legal study that's been around since really the 80s, you know, early 80s, middle 80s. Um, all of a sudden now, this is going to become a cult in evangelical circles. Okay. I believe that there are many younger evangelicals that are absolutely in harm's way when it comes to this false teaching and ideology. Oh, didn't mean to hit the space bar, but yes, that's right, Mark. Pray for us. We're just one step away from trying to love our neighbor better and trying to look at the systems that keep people oppressed. Oh my gosh, such cult-like behavior. Okay, the video ends there. Mark says ideology. I cut it like a half a second too short. I want to make a, a point here that's very important. We have to understand that the evangelical culture teaches people like Mark and um, Vody Bachman that because they are pastors and leaders of, in their mind, the true gospel and the true way of viewing the Bible, they therefore can speak 
on any other issue with authority because they are a Christian, because they believe that that they have a, uh, maybe a supernatural or a specific gifting of discernment. This is majorly problematic because Mark would never walk into a hospital while, while uh, you know, a brain surgeon is performing surgery and say, whoa, 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 doctor. I have read maybe one book on brain surgery, and now let me critique why your methods and why your tools are all, you know, um, substandard compared to the wisdom that I have. You would never do that. But for some reason, Mark and others find it necessary and, and even acceptable to walk into spaces that they have never been in their entire life. I doubt Mark even heard of CT three, four, five years ago, okay? This is probably brand new for him. But for some reason, people like Mark feel the need and feel like they have a privilege to write books on things and talk about it from a place of authority, when in reality, they know absolutely nothing about the diverse schools of CT, CRT, anti-racism, how they intersect, and how they work. So instead of listening to leading voices in those circles, what they do is they they... Uh, prop themselves up as a gatekeeper to their to their followers. So now, to understand CT, Mark will tell you what you need to know. And we have to trust that Mark understands all of the content out there, all the literature on CT, and that his interpretation that's satanic and demonic and leading people like me astray is accurate. And that, my friends, is one of the biggest problems in evangelical culture today. This idea of gatekeeping and this idea that because they're pastors or leaders, they have a supernatural, special gift from God to discern things that they should absolutely have no business discerning.